Well, every year, the Phoenix Rescue Mission hands out more than 600,000 bottles of water to people who are living on the streets. ABC 15's Amelia Fabiano caught up with one of their team members taking action to deliver to unsheltered men and women. And really, these record-breaking summer temperatures, we know this makes all the difference, Amelia. Right, and grabbing a bottle of water to quench your thirst, to stay hydrated, is something a lot of us might take for granted. It's easy to just grab it out of your fridge, grab it from the store, but for people experiencing homelessness, it's not that easy, and it can be life-saving in this extreme heat that we're dealing with here in Phoenix. So I caught up with one Phoenix Rescue Mission case manager who knows that firsthand. Every day, I'll take a look, Sergio Armendariz. See what we need. We need a bunch of hygiene. Packs up. I do have cases of water. Oh, yeah. This is the best part. Loading life saving essentials and some basic necessities lotion, deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste. Into the Phoenix Rescue Mission Hope Coach to hit the streets. We went to 19th Avenue, just north of downtown. This is typically a, a spot where um, there's always a lot of people. I wanted to see if I could offer anybody some water and hygiene today. David Robbins here tells me he's been experiencing homelessness for two years. This is tough out here. Barely walk, get out of bed anymore. This is my bed. He told us he wanted to get out of the hot Phoenix sun. I want to see if we could get him screened and see if we can get him into the rescue mission today. But a lot of times that's not a quick or easy task for case managers like Armandaris. Yeah, man, it's going to be rough doing it today. Robbins ended up not wanting to do a year long program to get into a shelter that might have had space. With this with this job, that's the toughest oh, part about it yeah. is oh. being able to find that space. Sometimes it's just not enough, you know. Um, that's why I'm, I'm huge on more shelter space. Some people simply don't yet want the help. You need some water? No, I got no money on me, brother. But I could offer you some services. How about that? Trying to get off the streets? No? But as Armandaris makes his way from person to person, street to street, he's reminded of his purpose. Five years ago, he was in the same place as the people he now serves. I don't understand how they got there um, but I do I do get get to put my myself in their shoes because I lived it in addiction um, and homelessness five years ago he also made the decision to turn his life around entering into the Phoenix rescue mission for help starting again it has its um, difficulties but ultimately I'm here to help help through a bottle of water there you go. Here's some water. Some words yeah. of encouragement. Yeah, man, I was out here on the streets for a number of years, man. A moment of prayer. I just want to lift them up to you right now, Father, that you would give them strength and the courage to take those first steps into recovery, Lord. Starting that conversation today, spreading hope for a better tomorrow. It's been the best five years of my life. And the Phoenix Rescue Mission is doing its Code Red Summer Heat Relief Campaign through the end of August. So if you'd like to find out how to maybe donate resources, supplies, money, time, they're in need of it always, but especially right now. So we have that linked under this story on our website, abc15.com. Reporting live in Phoenix, Amelia Fabiano, ABC 15, Arizona. These are really heroes in our community. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a small thing, but it, it's a big thing, yeah. right? We see the big impact of what they're doing. And, you know, Amelia, thank you. We talk about the 